Palms is at the epicenter for electronic music in Las Vegas right now. All right, we're here for Memorial Day week in 2009. It's pretty amazing, I mean, flying in today, just seeing how many DJs they have, you know, for one weekend. They're doing something, I think, that's unique for, uh, for Vegas. And uh, I think it's gonna, it's gonna do really well for them. It's something I wanna be a part of. I think it just moves the moat off the dance floor, which makes it, uh, seems to make it a lot better from being in here. I think it's gonna be a fantastic night tonight. And... The first time I wanted to become a DJ was the first time I threw a party and the DJ didn't show up. So around 1989. It shows how old I am. <laughs> Probably in the late 90s, in the basement for many years. Yeah, I was about 15 years of age. I was very heavily into music when I was young. And as soon as I discovered DJing and going to clubs, that's when I said, right, I want to be a DJ. I always thought I was going to be an architect in my youth. The record I've been listening to most this year, The Killers. A lot of the Swedish Mafia guys. And Fritz is always number one for me. And the Kings of Leon, right? Music played around my household. It's been a variety of music over the years. A lot of jazz music. Ska, 60s, rock. A mixture of old school and then house and trance and techno. Mod music like The Who and uh, some underground stuff like Secret Affair. I was constantly being pulverized Beatles. At one point, I was listening to a lot of rock and uh, my mother uh, decided that it was Satan's music, so she threw all my records away, probably about 200 records. All right, it's getting ready to get crazier tonight. Paul Oakenfold is getting ready to take the stage. Perfecto, Love Festival weekend. It's going to get nuts. Just like anything, as you get older, your tastes sort of change and you sort of find some new influences, and incorporating, uh, you know, instruments such as guitars and stuff, which I think, you know, within electronic music nowadays is a definite plus, you know, you're bringing that into it. It's much more accepted than it was. Whatever I'm playing is always like full of energy and it's uplifting and I play a mixture of house, trance, techno, and it always depends where I'm playing. Um, whether you're playing early, late, or what DJs you're playing around. I'm Gordon McCown, that's gonna do it for us tonight. It's the Love Festival weekend. Paulo Convol Perfecto. Tomorrow night, Carl Cox. This weekend will never end.